Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, which you can find online at belmontonian.com. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, we're talking about two rather contentious meetings this week. Um, and Franklin, can you tell us about those? Well, there is a, uh, well, the first of the contentious meetings I would like to talk about is uh, the one happened that one happened midweek. And that was uh, a special meeting that was set up by the select board uh, who wanted to talk about the, um, uh, the uh, murder that happened on Upland um, Road. Um, and, and they wanted to talk about it in a greater context rather than just the murder itself, but more in terms of racial um, equity and, 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 and understanding racism within Belmont, which um, um, many people have pointed out is, is, is really something that is um, maybe not as... Um, uh, as out in the open as, as you would see it in some places, but but they believe is a more subtle type of racism in terms of um, uh, messaging and and and, and small um, uh, incidents. Um, so uh, it was uh, like I said, it was a contentious meeting because at one point uh, Sarah um, Billado, who uh, is uh, who has been r help running um, what is called standouts, which happens twice a week, uh, uh, basically um, uh, people standing in uh, Cushing Square, um, uh, trying also to advise Waverly people. Square. Also Waverly Square on Sundays. Um, that uh, she is um, that uh, she wanted action to be taken, and uh, she confronted Roy Epst uh, Ep Epstein. Uh, at the um, at this meeting, and she said, um, "We're looking for funding. We're looking for we're looking to do some real work." And uh, um, Roy uh, said, "Look, we we can talk about it, but we're not going to make any commitment." And I, I feel that uh, uh, that was not taken um, uh, <laughs> that was not taken uh, by the, the uh, by activists at the meeting as a, as a, as a something that um, uh, they wanted to hear, but also it's something that they believe action has to be taken you know it's in, and they believe that that the that the murder was um uh, that occurred uh, last week um of henry tapia uh is uh uh, uh can be a, a starting point in terms of real action and uh, uh as you know we had uh, comments such as from um, um kim haley jackson from the human rights commission um we have to you know um the occurrence of racism that occurs in this town is always here you know we want to sit at the table, she said, have more leadership in town that's been predominantly white and male. And, you know, we, we've heard from other people like uh, Bepsi uh, Lipson, uh, a housing activist who said, you know, black, everybody with, with a sign that says Black Lives Matter on their uh, lawn wants to start to see action towards equity from on the town leadership. And she focuses, of course, on affordable uh, housing, you know. More money should be put for affordable housing. Zoning laws may have more, may want to change, but we also just have people who say that it's just time to really bring it out in the open, and then that, and that's going to take a lot more action than than the town has been committed to uh, currently. Now, what what a lot of people at, at this meeting seem to be saying was that you know um, white residents you know live in a comfortable bubble and are not aware of the things that people of color face every day or, or, it, or multiple times a year. Yeah, um, that is, it, it, she, um, you know, I, I think it was uh, 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 Haley Jackson who talked about her children and how, you know, some of her, you know, one of her, you know, they were talking about their children and she said, oh, they said, how did they get to school? And she says, well, they walked to school because they, they were they're two blocks away. And she realized that the uh, person who was asking her that question was, was saying, oh, so they had immediately thought, this child was a Metco child, you know, who was coming in from Boston every day. You didn't, you don't think of your neighbor as being, of being a minority or, you know, uh, in Belmont, which is, you know, primarily white. So those are, those are microaggressions as a, you know, that, that, that they feel every day and it just piles on and on and on and on. And they believe, and again, going back uh, to that uh, confrontation, it is just that they're saying, look, you've got to, you know, walk the walk and talk the talk and, and you can't do one without the other. And that means, you know, I, I don't know. It, it didn't seem like they had a, a clear idea what they would do with the money or what, what the money would be there for. But they're looking for real commitment by the town meeting, by, by town leadership. So I, th I think, Franklin, the last question um, that was taken by, by uh, 
uh, uh, Roy Epstein, who was running the meeting, uh, was from um, Evelyn Gomez, who is a school committee member, but she was speaking in her, her um, uh, capacity as, a, ta as a, town, a town resident. And she suggested that, you know, look, the, the, the school committee has been, the school committee has been um, looking at this equity, at these issues of equity, has established an equity committee and, and has committed to um, investing in an equity director uh, can the town not um, use its resources to hire a diversity equity director for the town? And, um, and, and I think the uh, uh, one area, uh, one one area of the town that uh, was getting praise was the schools and the school committee um, uh, for their forward-looking action on that. Uh, once again, uh, um, um, Mr. Epstein basically said that. Um, um, uh, that um, he wasn't going to commit to that uh, simply because, you know, you know, we're going through, you know, it would have to go through town meeting and it would have to go through the budgetary process. Uh, I think they want a more immediate action. Uh, the activists do want immediate action, like the hiring of a diversity uh, uh, a person to look over diversity throughout the town. All right, Franklin, there was a, another meeting um, that, that also was, was a bit contentious um, on Monday, another public forum. That's right. It was uh, basically uh, the ABCs of override. <laughs> you know, the reasons why we should, the town should pass an override. It was uh, uh, done with, again, the t um, it was a mega meeting, basically, of the Warren Committee, the school committee, the board of selectmen, and uh, no, the, the, the select, select board, board, I should say. Yeah. Um, and, and various other people. Uh, they, it, was, it was a very well attended, a very well Zoom attended meeting, over 100 people. And, and it basically was a way of saying, look, this is why we need an override. This is, and, and if you don't want an override, you know, we're going to, we're, we're going to really see uh, 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 a, a real detriment to uh, services, both in the schools and the town side. Um, you know, they made a very good case. It was not, and they, there was a lot more detail in it than, and, and that's what people were looking for. Uh, but what we heard is that uh, there were a number of people who said, look, no, we can't do it. You know, let's let's delay it for a year. And but I think the most uh, substantive uh, person was Allison Link. Uh, and she basically said, you know, she has a group about financial um, um, yeah, being uh, like the committee for effective finances for the town. Um, uh, and she is saying that there should be uh, two major things that should happen before any override is passed. One is structural reform. The other one is, is, is looking at, at, at the biggest uh, uh, amount of expenses, which is salaries and doing major cuts in salaries. You know, uh, I think that's a little, um, you know, she, she, uh, she wants a like, she wants that now, you know, before any kind of override passes. The problem with that, of course, is structural um, reform, you know, uh, structural deficit reform. That's going to take years, you know, and, and that's something that the town has already started to look into. They're having a, a long term committee to look at structural uh, as the structural deficit that has just started up. Um, and I think also that um, the town is has 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 basically Belmont has always been known as a very tight town, meaning it's a. Uh, it's not very big. It doesn't have a lot of employees compared to any other town in the area. And uh, with so many union contracts, I mean, asking for a pay cut is uh, you'd have to open up contracts and things like that. And that's really, you really can't do that. And how much money are you really going to save you know, for the people you can cut right now? You know, so, uh, but uh, that is going to, that, but, uh, you know, something like that, a, a two pronged attack against the override could, could, become very popular in town. You know, they're, 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 Belmont has not um, uh, been uh, overlooked by the uh, pandemic. You know, um, many people have lost their jobs or pay, are working less than they are. They, they've had problems with their businesses. So any kind of um, uh, cogent argument, and this is one, you know, uh, could really uh, become uh, very popular in Belmont. All right, well, um, any final thoughts? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, you know, the override's going to be, it's going to be very, you know, even a, a popular override, um, like the last one in, in 2015, um, was, you know, still close enough that, you know, you, 
um, it wasn't, it was, it didn't pass. Well, it passed pretty well. You know, it was a good, it was, it was an override that passed with an okay margin. This one is going to be a lot more uh, um, contentious. I think uh, there is a um, yes uh, for, you know, a yes uh, campaign that's starting. Uh, and uh, so we'll, we'll have to see. I don't know exactly what we're, um, what the uh, outcome is going to be. It's always tough to t think about um, uh, elections on the local level. It's very volatile. But it, it is clear that, that some vocal opposition has, has emerged. You might, yeah, you might find even a, a, it coming out as, a, as an official um, or maybe semi-official um, uh, organization. All right. We'll have to see, Franklin. Well, thank you so much. And we will talk with you next time. Thank you.